to my channel <laughs> alright so today I'll be um, drawing the main trio from Castlevania and I'm drawing them because I was thinking about all the videos I want to make for Inktober and I realized that Castlevania is like it's a horror show in a way like it's not completely horror but like it has action fantasy um, thriller but it does have a lot of horror elements a lot of gore a lot of blood and all that stuff and I thought it would be a really good idea to draw the main trio from Castlevania Trevor, Alucard, and Sifra for Inktober and I'm just going to draw them and I was thinking of drawing them and like Mm. like a manga style as if I was making like a story or if I was drawing a graphic novel for the show all right so um I want to start with the sketch oh fuck I can't breathe all right so I want to start with the sketch and I did do some research for the reference pictures and I also look for some textures for their clothes because I want to add different textures I was going to make the textures like black and white and stuff so that everything was black and white and so it could look like it was made with ink but um, I want to find textures for their coats, the fur and just their clothes just to add another layer of interest in the drawing alright so after I did the sketch I of course did the ink and I was going for really tiny lines I wanted everything to look very very specific and um, very detailed so my lines were super small and I took a lot of time <laughs> to do the inking <laughs> I can't breathe <laughs> oh don't worry I'm fine um, and I avoided using like the symmetry tool because I did want because I did want everything to look very natural and I didn't want to make it look mechanical so I tried to freehand some things and I did copy his eyes because I wanted his eyes look really perfect and I feel like I couldn't get the other eye to look as perfect so that's why I copied it but everything else, I wanted everything to be freehand and this really helped me practice my lines and um, helped me with my ink because I don't usually do this whenever I draw stuff I don't put this much emphasis on the lines but this time I wanted to and in addition to the lines I wanted to um, find a way to add the shadows on his face so I made, I did, I used smaller lines for that and then I tried to kind of vary my lines so his hair the lines are super thick and then um, his eyes and his nose the lines are much thinner and I did try to show the waviness of his hair he has very beautiful soft looking hair so I want to show that I want to show that his hair had a lot of volume and I tried to um, copy as much as I could from the reference picture because I did really want this to look like him like there would be no point if it didn't so yeah all right so um a little about the show like Castlevania um I started watching it like last year that's when I discovered it and ever since then I've been a big fan of the show I think it's my favorite show on Netflix I love it so much when I saw that season two no season season three oh i can't remember um shit i can't remember if it's season one or season two or season. i think it's season season i think it's season oh my god i don't know <laughs> i can't remember um but when I saw the new season had come out, I know I had to watch it, and I did. I binge watched the whole season in like the same day, and I was like, "Wow, this is so good!" And then now we have the pandemic, and I don't know if the if the crew is being like held back on their schedule for making 
the new season and I don't know if they're having any setbacks and it's kind of making me sad because I cannot wait for the new season to come out like I loved everything in this season um I love the new characters like the sisters they introduced um I love I love Sifa and Trevor's relationship I think they're so good together and I don't really know anything about the source material but like looking at it as a show as a whole I like that they didn't wait until like the end of the story to make them like an item like I hate when shows do that like if you ship a character you have to wait until like it's the end of the show to see them together and I'm glad they didn't do that and um I just really loved everything I love the jokes I love the action the animation looks amazing it's just it looks great I love the show but um anyways back to the drawing all right so um after i did the lines i added some texture to his coat because his coat does look like super thick and i didn't know what kind of i thought it was like leather it looks like his coat might be made out of like really expensive leather so i did that and then i added some light shadows um for his for like his whole body and then next i moved on to trevor um trevor was I think the most difficult to draw he the angle I'm drawing him in was really um it was it was hard I was like ugh, I don't like the style I was trying to be go as close to the style of the show as possible without looking at like without it looking like I completely copied everything but Trevor was really hard to draw like sometimes I was concerned it wasn't going to look like him but in the end I think everything kind of came out all right and like his jawline was really hard to get like everything was just really i think he, he was the hardest to draw out of all of them like just everything overall the way the shadows his hair being black i was like what am i gonna do because i didn't want his hair to like overpower the rest of the drawing so i was concerned about making his hair like all black but that also worked out so um trevor i love all the characters in this show like i'm not even kidding and trevor I love the whole trio and I don't even know which one I like more. Well, I know I like Alucard more, but ugh, Trevor is an amazing character. His, he's so solid, like his character is so heroic and brave and all these wonderful things, but he's also like, he likes making jokes and he's very um, coarse in his character and everything about him is just very solid, like I feel like whoever, um, really created his character did a really good job with his characteristics because they fit so well together he's an amazing character and also um his action sequences are awesome i love it so good um and at first the fur i'm adding for his coat didn't really look good it looked really fake and gross so i had to um i had to fix it so i did some modifications I took a brush and I manually went in and kind of smudged the fur in a direction that it needed to go in so that um, I could like use a brush to fix it afterwards and then for Trevor's hair which is like pitch black um, I did my best to make the hair look the proper way but I was just I was concerned I was concerned that um, his hair wouldn't look that great but it did um and then for sifa sifa was kind of hard because by the time i finished i i was like mm, does it really look like her that much i'm not sure but um in the end she looks amazing um she has like really big beautiful eyes so i want to make sure i captured that and also her nose i didn't know what to do with her nose because i kind of changed her nose a little because her nose over um on the right picture looks M much slimmer and smaller but i changed her nose and then i didn't know what to do with her nose and i was also concerned about her hair too because i was like her hair is kind of light <laughs> her hair is kind of light but then like what am i gonna do am i just gonna leave it white it's gonna look weird because i know her hair is darker than alucard's but lighter than trevor's so i just opted for like something like mid gray but um her lines i think were the most difficult to do because she was her angle was just weird and in her hair 
her hair was her hair is kind of like the kind of hair where like it's it's kind of difficult to to draw because her hairstyle looks so weird and it's and it's hard to kind of um to get that shape of her her hair done properly like the way her bangs are framing her face like that that can be difficult but um it came out great <laughs> i don't know why i keep on saying everything is difficult and then they come out looking really good i think everything looks really nice in this drawing um but anyways and then i had to kind of make her outfit like a little slimmer because when i was doing the sketch i added too much material so um she just she looks very um, like her 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 i don't know what to call it but the, the thing that she's wearing it looked too big so i had to cut a little bit of fabric out of it and i added like the texture i added for it was kind of like a yarn kind of texture because i feel like um her people would make outfits out of yarn like that was the kind of thing i was thinking about um when i when i did the texture for her clothes and i just i want to capture her expression like she's not really angry well i mean during that fight she was kind of angry i guess but i want to capture her expression of strength and she's looking stern and really badass and cool and i didn't want to make her look like too soft and cute even though she is so i had to find a balance between them and then after i was done with sifa and then i was kind of adding the final touches to the drawing i was all like hmm i should add something to trevor's fur because the fur looks way too light so i decided to add like um i found a black and white image of well i didn't find a black and white image of the castle but i i had an image of the castle like for reference picture so i decided to just insert it um lower the saturation like i did for everything else i inserted in this drawing and then just like kind of clip it into trevor's coat but i kind of got lost along the way and i didn't know like which layer to use or like kind of where to find a balance so i when i was recording this drawing I had to redo it so many times until I finally got it right and well looks great as usual <laughs> um but yeah and then afterwards I decided to add like some bats and clouds in the background like all this junk I don't know like I didn't want the background to be completely white because yeah so I was looking for bats I was looking for clouds I was looking for all this extra stuff um and of course i made everything else black and white because that's kind of like the theme of the drawing and i just wanted them to stand out and be the focal point but still have like a background and then yeah and then i think i'm about to enjoy 